Hey everyone, Tivik here and welcome back to Steel Tombs. We are on episode... I can't remember. 12? Yeah, 12. Wow. Time flies. Uh, I'm thinking that I should start digging this area out, but in the last episode we did actually get uh, some steel. Um, let's see. Yeah, we did get working on making some steel. So we actually have... Is this the steel stockpile or... No, it's the pig iron one. We don't have anything there. Hmm. Is that one making... Oh, it's making pig iron still. Um, I want to see how much I actually have. Uh, I would like a search here. <laughs> yep. Steel. Nope. Uh, pig iron. No. Um, doesn't really work there. Yep, we got damp stone. I know about that. I know all about that because we are currently digging under a river. Which is up there. And that means I'm going to have to keep doing this until it's actually uh, <laughs> dug through to the area that isn't damp stone. And uh, that is going to take me some time. Come on. You can do it. Uh, yeah, so it's going to take forever. Roughly forever. Maybe a little bit shorter. I'm not entirely sure, but it's going to take a long time for it to dig through this. Um, I should have turned off the warnings, though. Anyhow, so... Uh, the reason why I want to open this up is that I can make a uh, pasture for these animals here that are killing each other, I think. Mm, no major wounds, at least. That's good. Uh, there are no animals down in the... in the kitchens. Nope. I know that there is damp stone there. Ooh, is that what I think? Yes, it is. We can now start collecting sand, even though I did make this area for them to dig out. But that's all right. Found sand. Awesome. Um, while they are doing that, this area here is going to be my main stoneworking area. And... What I want to do is I want to set a um, masonry area here using blocks and uh, that should be it. Not a carpenter but a crafts dwarf in that corner. Oh, not rock salt. Uh, I want to make it with blocks. And it's a good thing if I actually constructed using the correct thing. There we go. And on this one here, I want to make a mechanic area. So that we can produce mechanisms as much as possible. Like that. And finally, which is the last one, is the jeweler. These are the stone crafts, well, craft professions, I suppose. There we go. And uh, just one second here. All right, sorry about that. So we have set up all the main stonework buildings. We have craft swords, jewelers, mechanics, and masons. And we do want to make some more things here. Oh, I need to set this guy up. Um, dining room. Make that the dining room, and that's uh, for Mr. Yours McEd. There you go. Now you have everything. Now this can actually be made into a prison. And 
justice. There we go. So if I now look at my justice, I have four out of four cages. That's good. Very good. Damp stone located. Yeah, I know. So they will be digging out most of this and um, I should be able to dig a bit in here. Yeah, I should really change that setting because this is going to take forever. Uh, and we won't get anything this episode. Uh, let me just do that real quick. It's a quite simple fix to do. Um, and you do a change in the init file, and after that, it will still cancel the designation. But look at this. Once they go dig, because right now they're all headed down to dig out this area, and that's fine. Um, there we go. Now you'll see that once they dig these out, they will stop. But the game won't. Which is good, because that means I can dig out as much as possible out of this, and they will then stop. What did just happen? Migrants. Oh, great. Um, even more of them? Uh, <laughs> according to Dwarf Therapist, I got eight. So let's see. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What's that? Ravens. So, let's take a look at them. Here they are. A whole bunch. I'm gonna make these guys civilians except for him. He... I'm going to keep. He's gonna be a very good smith. So... It's gonna be a smith. Or a, I think I made them blacksmith. Perfect. And let's see. The rest of the guys except for him will be made into a civilian. For the moment. Um, profession. That means I will have a couple of civilians. I actually have a pretty good mason there, so I'll make him the mason. Um, we have a pump operator, we have a furnace operator, I suppose we'll need a few more of those. Um, so that will go on the blacksmith. And we also have a fairly good tanner. Nothing really good. I suppose we could get some of these. Mm, they will probably be drafted. Okay, so um, let them go there, and I will see if I can pasture anything that is not currently pastured. Nope, nothing. So they didn't bring any uh, animals that need to be pastured. Okay, now if you see this... I can just tell them to dig that area out, and they will start digging a little bit more. And eventually, it will be enough. Right, so how's this looking? Still not completely dug through to this area. But this will be the area where I put... Let's see... Gonna make a sandbag area here. It's set to furniture, but if I block everything but sandbags of uh, of any type, I suppose, and quality. That's good. Alright, so this is starting to be finished up. A few more. Now, we just have to remember to not dig up. That will flood our fortress. Do we have any magma-safe stone? Yes. 
we have obsidian. So I'll use obsidian for that. And that will be built. And once they're finished with that, I will lock this area off and uh, let's channel these out. Might as well do this. I want to have a fairly large glass industry. There we go, we have a nice area for sand collection so that anyone can go gather sand and put it here. So here I will have a stockpile that will take only bags. And I want to have enough so I can fill this stockpile. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Mm, that's going to be a lot. <laughs> Probably won't be able to do that. Dump that one. Can someone please go and pick that up? <laughs> He's going there. Good. Um, can I make magma glass furnaces? Yes, I can. We need to build them out of obsidian. I'm using the... As you can see, there's a darker X on the top there. I'm using that to uh, be the top of these because it will guarantee that people don't fall down because it's a blocked area. So let's just quickly build, I'll just use anything there. Here I will use obsidian. And then we cancel these three. Because now when he builds using obsidian on that one, um, that will be blocked off. And the bridge is done? Right. There they go, grabbing one obsidian, heading down. And we can remove that. Perfect. Now I should be able to dig this. Standing in a safe position. I hope that this bridge is open is closed now. We'll figure that out very quickly, I'll say. Oh. I didn't know that. Missing. A cow has gone missing. Elk blood. Okay. Hmm. Also, this one seems to be... Right floating ribs. Huh? I'm worried. No deaths down here now? Mm. Nope. Good. So, let's build a furniture store here. And it will be that big with that in, as an opening. And this will only be Um, leather bags. Leather bags. Let's craft a whole bunch of them. Do we have a leather worker? Yes. Make leather bag. And that will do. Perfect. Now, these guys don't really have a job, my miners. They should have a job. And I could dig this out, but I do want to start digging out the water system. And 
doing that will take a bit of effort. That's good, it's not going to be crossing into that area. Hmm. It's going to be something like that. We'll put it in that area. It's going to look quite ugly, but... Um, and they will stop digging. Oh, that's not too good. He's grown attached to an iron war hammer. That's never good. What is this one doing? He's fighting, okay. Uh, perfect. Now they're digging down to this area. And they have a way out. And this is being dug out. Perfect. They won't have a way up except for the stairs. I'm not locking anyone in here, right? Oh no. Monkeys. Where are they? These are thieves. Little thievy buggers. So let's get these guys up here. To see if you guys can... Kill these guys. Um, how many are they? Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Um, move to here. Go. They're stealing stuff. And... Oh, we had some fighting going on there. Knocking them unconscious and tearing them to pieces. That's good. Keep going. Take them out. They stole some mugs. Darn creatures. Do I have more of them though? Um, yeah, these contain a lot of high quality goods. That's very, very good. Yeah, you guys are going to be doing a bit of patrol duty for a little bit. I found the dead cow. Where? Oh, up there. I suppose that's all right. Can uh, this butcher... Well, he's down here now. Um, can he butcher a dead animal for me? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, and uh, outpost liaison has arrived. Where is our squad right now? Um... There they are. You guys need to be here. Chase them off. Okay, so we have run out of plants. No, we don't, but... So there is a missing cow there and a rotten cow there and... Some rat remains and a uh, rhesus macaque corpse. So, wow. That's pretty mean. I do need to get you guys some decent weaponry though. Um, let's see, Yuris Maked, you have not got any kills. Um, this guy has one rhesus. Um, let me check Naros. Do you have any? I'm going to find you in the list then. Let's see. Naros. Kills. Nope, still just a peregrine falcon. You can cancel that now. I think that they're gone. He 
Is it wounded? Yes. You go kill that. And it's dead. Who got the killing blow? Uh, I think this guy did. Yep, definitely. Okay. So. Uh, you can cancel your orders and go about your business. Um, I need the broker there. Um, how's this area looking? Oh, we can take this out. Or at least a little bit further. Um, yeah, it's going to take a while. This one should take from my workshop down here. And they will actually now dig out as much as they can. Perfect. Our broker is on break. That's all right with me. As long as he does his job when, when they come back here. Um, do we have anything in here that we can... Uh, let's check. I'm gonna check mug. Nope. Okay. Um, instruments, toys, crafts. Uh, mug. No. Okay. That's gonna be a bit more. This glass furnace we can actually remove and make that a kiln later. It's just really a temporary thing. These will be more permanent ones though. Um, we're starting to get some of these, so I'm going to set up the zone here to be sand. Uh, and because I don't like... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So that's how many? That's 10. Collect sand 10 times. Anyone can do that, which is good. Okay, let's trade. Um, going to go manual on this. Actually, we're going to go fully manual. There's some mixed items here. There's some quivers and stuff like that that I don't want to sell, so... And, like, for instance, there we have the iron chain. I don't want to sell that one. Let me just browse through so we don't accidentally sell more chains, because we're going to need them. Nope. Looks good. Now, what do they have here? Iron and steel. I'm thinking... No, they didn't bring anything neat in when it comes to that. I'm gonna go for stuff like... The stuff that is bothersome to make. Um, is this? Two steel high boots, some bucklers. We're going to be able to make steel very, very soon, though. So I don't really feel stressed about that. We're going to get some sandbags. Gypsum plaster, because we'll need to make a uh, um, hospital soon. Some sandbags. Getting some random sa uh, bags, because it will help me... I don't need to craft them myself and spend my precious leather. But we need leather, cloth, 
And wow, that's a lot of cloth. And some food. I'm gonna make sure we get some fish and lobster. I think that's good. They're gonna be happy now. Nope. They won't. Well, I'll remove these then. No. Is it the cloth there? Hmm. About that then. Hmm. There we go. Now they're happy. Perfect. Nothing for the moment then. Uh, here we just need to dig this area out. And now we can make a huge zone for our guys. Is anyone collecting sand now? No. Hmm. Someone should actually be hauling sand and trying to get some of that into our... Huh. Yeah, we have even more bags now. That's very good. Okay, now. I want to dig these two out as quarries. I would like to dig further down as well. We haven't found that second set of caves yet. And I'm gonna tell them to go down about that much. And we'll see. Let's see now. We should set floors there. Use rock salt blocks. And this here will be the storage room, and up above will be a training room and bedroom for our soldiers. Okay. Stop a second here. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. So, we have found the caves. Um... Then we need to construct a floor there using blocks. I wonder if I can construct... Hmm. So it's not very far down. What do we have here then? We seem to have tunnel tubes. That's cool. And some mixed items. There are no other creatures as far as I can see. Nope. Look at that, the Plains Titan. I wanted to have the final blow on that one. It's a bit sad I didn't. Right. They've dug out that area. And here's something that I need to do. I need to floor this up. And I want to make sure I save those two up, though. Or do I want to build roads? Yeah, we'll build roads. Because they require less blocks. Paved roads do not grow over with trees. Let's see. Um, 
I'll do that area. And this area. There we go. And one down, we also need to do this. Cut down there and there. Perfect. And I think we're actually up to time on this episode. So I'm going to round it off here, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this one. We didn't get very much done, but you know how it is with Dwarf Fortress. Sometimes a lot of things happen. Sometimes they don't. So see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.